Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic of discussion is on checksum calculation. So in my previous sessions, I have been explaining the different error detection methods. And in my previous session, I have explained regarding the single parity check, then the CRC. Now the third method checksum calculation I shall be discussing here. So this particular technique is mainly used to detect errors. During transmission, normally what happens is suppose if there is a sender and here is the receiver assume that the sender is sending the data to the receiver during transmission there is a possibility that the data may get corrupted so this whether the data is corrupted or not the receiver has to find it out and so this checksum calculation technique can be uh, used by the sender as well by the receiver now let us see what are the different steps that are carried out at the sender side and what are the different steps that are carried out at the receiver side so we'll assume that okay there is some message that is traveling some message or you can call it as a data that travels from the sender to the receiver so in this data some bits may get corrupted during transmission or some bits may be lost the receiver has to find out whether there is error in this particular data or not first let us see all these steps that are carried out at the sender side initially the message is divided into n segments so first we'll take okay the first step is what initially message or data is divided into n segments now how many bits are there in the data that you need to divide equally n segments and the size of the segment is m bits suppose for example you take if if 32 bits are there in data and the data is divided into four segments here how many segments will be there then four segments are formed and there are eight bits in each segments so now remember this is the first step that the sender does the sender if it is having 32 bits of 32 bits in the data that it wants to send to the receiver each segment will have got 8 bits for example you take 10 1 1 suppose if this is data so it will divide into four segments like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so the third segment will end here at this point and this is so it has divided the given 32 bits into four segments this so let me write like this that whatever we did just now is step one then what is step two step two is to add all these segments very if there is a carry if the carry bit is one then you need to add this add this carry bit to the LSP of the sum. So whenever you get a carry, that carry bit has to get added to the LSP of the sum. Now what is step 4? So in the previous step you got some value that is called as the sum. Now complement the sum to get the checksum. Step 5, sender sends the data along with the checksum value. So let me just repeat the steps. In the step 1, there is some data, 32 bits data is there. For example, here I have shown the 32 bits data so this 32 bits data is getting divided into four segments and each segment consists of eight bits now in the step two the sender will add all these four segments and in step three what is the step three definitely while adding whenever there is a carry getting generated that carry bit has to be added to the lsp of the sum then complement the sum so whatever bits you get in the sum you take the complement of it and you will be getting the result and that result is called as the checksum finally the sender sends the data that means what data that 32 bits data which was the original message along with what the checksum value which it got after completing till step 4 so that those two details will be sent to the receiver so with an example let me explain this now what is that uh, we had taken we had four segments So, the, in the example 1, I have taken this 32 bits as the data. Now, this data, as I already told, it is getting divided into 4 segments. 
so we have here four segments now the sender is trying to add this segment so let's go so i have named also all the segments segment one segment two segment three segment four first in order to add all the four segments what i am doing is first i will add segment one and said segment two then whatever value i get here i will add it to segment three then finally whatever value i get after adding segment three i will add it that to the segment four so segment wise uh, addition i am carrying out here one plus one zero one carry so you will be getting 1 plus 1 plus 1 so you will have here 1 then this one carry will be here 1 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 0 carry is 1 1 plus 1 0 and now you see 1 plus 1 the last two bits 1 plus 1 0 and you will get a carry here so this carry bit okay i'll uh, show with the array direction also you need to add to the lsp least significant bit so then once you add this you will get 0 plus 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 fine so this is what you got after adding the two segments now let me add with this the segment 3 now what is the segment 3 here the segment 3 is 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 fine so add this 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 0 1 carry 1 1 plus 1 0 carry 1 plus 1 plus 1 1 1 carry 1 plus 1 plus 1 1 1 carry 1 plus 1 0 1 carry you will be getting 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 so this i got it after adding segment 3 okay this one is your segment 3 now what you will do you will add to this the segment 4 see when we added segment 3 with the previous result here we did not get any carry generated so no need to carry out that adding uh, the carry bit to the lsp your answer is 10111001 now you add the segment 4 what is the segment 4 let me complete here on this screen only this segment 4 so the segment 4 is 110101 Now add this, what you will get? 1 plus 1, 0, 1 carry, 0 plus 1, 0 plus 1, 1 plus 1, 0, 1 carry, 1 plus 1, 0, 1 carry, 1 plus 1, 0, 1 carry, 1 plus 1 plus 1. So you will get here 1 and then 1 carry also. So here when you added you got a carry. Now this carry bit you are trying to what bring it here and add it to the lsp of the previous result and then finally 0 plus 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 okay this you got what is the final answer you got after adding segment 3 this is your segment 4 okay finally you got 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 1 so this value what you got is called as sum you have to call it as sum sum is 1000111 zero, 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 one, 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 one. take the complement of this you will be getting 01100000 zero, one, 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 zero, 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 zero. and the complement of whatever you got here is called as checksum so this is what we the sender is looking for finally the sender got this value and this is called as the checksum this checksum value look at the fourth step the sender sends the data along with the checksum value now the sender has got the checksum so the sender will send what all the what the 32 bits of data now the sender is sending the sender sends the 32 bit data along with checksum along with checksum and the checksum result is what checksum is 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 so once you get this value that is the checksum value now totally five segments are sent if you observe the sender is having 32 bit data and this 32 bit data itself were how many four segments and now checksum has come and that is eight bits so that is one segment okay these things this is what this is the data part and this is the checksum now these two components the sender will send to the receiver now you need to see here what is that the receiver trying to do now so let us check what is 
what are the different steps that happens at the receiver side at the receiver side what is step 1 add all the five segments sender has sent 4 plus 1 no simply the receiver is going to add all the five segments even at the receiver side whenever the segments are getting added if carry is generated if carry is one then add that carry to the lsp of the add carry add carry bit add carry to the lsp of the sum step 3 after adding all these five segments some result is obtained even the receiver will take the complement of that result and that is called as checksum complement the sum to get the checksum the receiver after it takes the complement it should get actually all zeros if there is no error so what i'll do is in the step 4 i'll write here if the result is all zeros result here is what i mean to say is result is checksum let me write it if the result is all zeros then there is no error and the receiver will accept the message what are the steps that are carried out at the receiver side once 32 bits are sent those 32 bits okay four segments there is a the receiver is going to add those four segments now adding of four segments once again i'm not going to show it here because whatever the sender has done after adding all those four segments i'll write the value directly here I will just write after adding all the four segments. So, these four segments are the data segments only. The result is 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1. This is what we got. Let me just cross very, let me check again. See, after adding, where is that? 1 0 0 0 here. Okay, 1 0 zero zero one 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 so the receiver the sender has sent the eight segment uh, the sender has sent the four segments the receiver has added all those four segments and the resulting value is one zero 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 one 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 now to this the receiver will add the checksum value that is sent from the sender side so the checksum value is here zero one 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 So this was the look here this is what 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 so now here also you can see i have added the same thing so at the receiver side these two components get added here 1 plus 0 is 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 so what is that the receiver got the receiver got all ones here now the receiver has to take the complement of this so if you take the complement of 111111 you will be getting 0000 okay so this is what is the checksum value obtained at the receiver side so don't get confused this checksum value was sent by the sender and this checksum value is finally obtained at the receiver side what is the fourth step if the result checksum is all zeros then there is no error and the receiver will accept the message so in this case in this example there is no error how the receiver is deciding that there is no error because the checksum value is all zeros if any point of time if the checksum value obtained has got ones in between then the receiver will come to know that the data is getting corrupted during the transmission and hence the receiver will make a request to the sender to retransmit the data this is how the checksum technique is used at the sender side and the receiver side in order to detect the errors during transmission so hope the topic is clear to you all if you find this topic useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care